you want to say that um, he want to do his best to not let it go to the cards, but he's 21 and um, 2 with uh, 6 KOs, and we're talking about Willie Monroe Jr. You may know him from the biggest fight of his career when he fought um, Gennady Golovkin back in uh, 2015. And the issue in that fight is he didn't have enough power to keep Golovkin off of him, even though he was showing good movement, you know, and he does have boxing skill, but he's not known as like a, a, a fighter that has like that, that has pop behind him, right? So now he's fighting for the WBO title with 160 pounds, and he has to go over to the UK to do it. The first thing that comes to people's mind is, oh, well, he's not going to get a decision on the cards. And then also, you know, to um, UK fans, from what I've learned over the last several years, is uh, Frank Warren is very powerful over there, and people say, you know, that he can be corrupt. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. But they say, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Willie Monroe is not getting no decision over there. And also, you know, Billy Joe Saunders getting boxed. Now, I understand a lot of people is pissed off at him because he hasn't been fighting anybody. For example, he won the fight in the end, December of 2015. He won the title the end of 2015 um, um, after he had a good, like, little bit over a year run. Remember, he had that big fight with Chris Eubank Jr., you know, which he clearly won, even though Chris, Chris Eubank Jr. started coming on late. He outboxed him. That was at the end. That was in um, the end of November of 2014. You know, and then, you know, what? Just um, 13 months later, he fought Andy Lee. Oh, less than 13 months later, he fought uh, Andy Lee for that WBO title. But since then, he's only fought Wolverine, Logan. Yes, the guy he fought, Arthur Akhavov, is like some cosplay Wolverine type guy, and he was laying some hands on Billy Joe Saunders. And Billy Joe Saunders admitted at the post fight interview that he looked like shit. And the, 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 to make matters worse, the fight happened in a leisure center. So I got to think, man, like, you know, I know Billy Joe Saunders is well off, but it's like, you know, like, you getting advances? How are you living this lifestyle? You know? So the Willie Monroe fight is supposed to be a fight that's supposed to get him. You know, like back in the real mix of things, especially since uh, Canelo versus Golovkin is uh, coming up. And the thing is, Billy Joe Saunders was in talks to fight Canelo. I interviewed Oscar De La Hoya December of last year. You know, right there was August 11th. I interviewed Oscar De La Hoya December of last year. And they were talking about, you know, that after the Akavov performance, um, that they were going to take, you know, um, uh, rescind the offer. That they had made the Billy Joe Saunders or or cut the offer in half. The interview is right here where Oscar said that, and then he was in talks to fight um, Gennady Golovkin in June after Golovkin versus um, um, Jacobs had happened. But now Golovkin's fighting Canelo, so now it leaves Billy Joe Saunders in a tough situation where, you know, um, a big money fight. Where is a real, real big money fight outside of maybe moving up to 168 pounds? So, he needs this win, but he not only needs his win, he needs to win this fight impressively. You know, but how can he win a fight impressively against a guy who is as good as uh, Willie Monroe Jr.? But however, I have to say that I have Billy Joe Saunders winning. I think Billy Joe Saunders, you know, is the better overall fighter, and also, you know, he's more active. But this fight is going to be really good, or it can be really ugly, because you have two very good overall sound fundamentally sound boxers, especially when Billy Joe Saunders is on his A game, you know, like he can really, really like hold his own as far as boxing ability. And he's shown that he got a chin. But we don't have to worry about Willie Monroe knocking him out with those six KOs. But it's not saying anything can happen. So the fight is happening on um the sixteenth, which is a little over a month away, the sixteenth of uh September. It's gonna be on Box Nation and BT it's gonna be a both of them, right? BT Sports, right? You know, um, nobody over here in the States has picked it up. So, you know, of course, I'm going to watch it. You know, I'm not going to have any issues watching it. Trust me, I'm not going to miss this. You know, and um, let me go see what the undercard is. I believe they have uh, Daniel Dubois on undercard. Let me see. We'll go to the undercard real quick. Yeah, Anthony Yards on, on there. Okay, for that WBO regional, Daniel Dubois. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a nice Frank Warren card. You know, it's a nice, you know, solid Box Nation card. But, you know, to look at the landscape of the 160-pound division, 
you know, you have obviously um, um, Golovkin, who has WBC, the WBA, and the IBF, you know, and then Canelo has the ring when Truth Be show, show, Told he shouldn't have the ring. He shouldn't, but, you know, the ring is owned by Golden Boy. That's a whole, you know, different situation. Um, it's said that if Golovkin wins, you know, or it's rumored that if Golovkin wins, that he's likely going to probably move to 168 pounds. He could go after the Billy Joe Sanders fight, but they're saying he might move to 168. And then remember, he's going to have a slew of mandatories, you know, with um, Turiano Johnson versus, um, I forgot who he's fighting to be the mandatory for Golovkin. Then, you you know, you have a sign in Don versus uh, Ryota Murata. You know, they're fighting. You got Jermall Charlo, who's the WBC number one contender. And when it comes to Billy Joe Saunders, you know, um, his mandatory could be David Lemieux. You know, or what if Cotto wants to get that fight? What if Cotto wants to say, okay, I'm going to go back to 160, you know, and fight, you know, you know, Danny Jacobs. But Danny Jacobs recently said that Billy Joe Saunders showed no interest, you know. So the, the, the road is not going to be easy for Billy Joe Saunders going forward. You know, it's just not. You know, so I'm excited for the fight. Like I said, it's going to be on um, BT and Box Nation, or I'm pretty sure it's going to be on Box Nation. Um, um, T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover this. I cover every single major fight live. And yes, we are covering this fight. We're going to have somebody at this event. You know, now that I think about it, we're going to be doing full coverage for this. And yes, it is going to be on BT Sport. That's what it says. So. Please subscribe. All the links to my social media are right down below in the description box. Shout out to uh, Eat Naked. Dot, um, shout out to Eat Naked and I. Dot com. Mm. Real food. One of our sponsors. Fire Fan. Shout out to Global uh, Legacy Boxing. You know. Teach you controversy. Teach you controversy live.